Stephen found himself on the chilly and bustling sidewalk of Liverpool, huddled against the cutting wind. His worn-out coat offered little defense against the cold. Curled up beside him in a thin blanket was Jess, his loyal companion, a blue-eyed Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Jess was more than just a companion, she served as Stephen's anchor in a world that frequently overlooked him. Don't worry, Jess, Stephen whispered, his trembling fingers caressing Jess's soft fur. We'll confront this challenge together, just as we always have. Jess gazed back at him with eyes brimming with love and loyalty, her tail swaying slowly. As people passed by, some cast pitying glances, while others remained indifferent. Stephen scanned every face, hopeful for some human connection, but found little beyond emptiness. Yet, Jess occasionally received gentle pats from strangers, bringing fleeting moments of joy to Stephen. You're my guiding star, Jess, he murmured. You're my everything. Jess rested her head on Stephen's legs, as if comprehending every whispered word. Together, they savored a simple snack, cherishing each precious crumb. As night descended, the streets grew empty. Stephen adjusted the blanket covering them, bracing for another unforgiving night on the city streets. He looked at Jess, finding unspoken solace in her presence. Together, always together, he vowed, as the world around them dissolved into the silence of the night. Jess snuggled even closer, as if echoing the same promise. In this cold and forgotten world, the bond between a man and his dog shone like a beacon of hope and unconditional love. The dawn in Liverpool brought with it the usual hum of the city waking up. Stephen, still heavy-eyed, settled on the sidewalk, while Jess, alert and observant, watched every movement around her. The morning promised to be like any other until an unexpected and devastating event changed everything. As Stephen spread his old hat on the sidewalk, waiting for a few coins, Jess attentively observed the passing people. It was then that a man stopped, staring at Jess intently. He crouched down, pretending to pet the dog, but his eyes betrayed his true intentions. What a lovely dog you have there, the man said with a forced smile, keeping Jess distracted with one hand while the other stealthily approached her collar. Distracted for a moment by a passerby who stopped to chat, Stephen didn't notice the imminent danger. Sensing something wrong, Jess began to bark, but before Stephen could react, the man forcefully pulled Jess, running through the busy streets. Jess! Stephen shouted, jumping to his feet, adrenaline overcoming the pain in his tired joints. He chased after the man, but the crowd and his own exhaustion slowed him down. Please, someone help me. He took my Jess. Stephen cried, desperation and fear in his voice. The people around began to realize the gravity of the situation, but the thief had already disappeared into the crowd. Breathless and heartbroken, Stephen fell to his knees, his face wet with tears. Jess, my Jess, he cried as people gathered around, trying to comfort him, but nothing could ease the pain of losing his loyal companion. On that dark day, Jess's light in Stephen's life was abruptly extinguished, leaving him in a world of shadows and uncertainties. The search for Jess would begin, but at that moment, all Stephen felt was the void left by the absence of his faithful friend. In the midst of Stephen's despair and desolation, the community around him began to stir. The news of Jess's theft quickly spread through the streets of Liverpool, resonating among the residents and local merchants. The organization Care for the Paw, already familiar with Stephen and Jess, acted swiftly. In their small headquarters, volunteers gathered around a computer. We need to do something, one of them said, typing frantically. In a few minutes, an urgent message was posted on the organization's Facebook page. The post described Jess in detail, blue-eyed Staffordshire Bull Terrier, five years old, blue collar, brown coat with paw prints. If you see her, please contact us immediately. The message went viral, shared by hundreds of people. Supportive comments and promises of help filled the post. Let's find Jess and Steven, we're with you, echoed across social media. Meanwhile, in the city center, posters featuring Jess's photo began to appear on lamp posts and storefronts. People whom Steven barely knew stopped to offer words of encouragement and promises to keep an eye out. In a local cafe, a group of students organized a search for the neighborhood. Let's divide into teams, cover every street, every park, instructed one student, marking routes on a city map. Night fell over Liverpool, bringing with it a wave of solidarity and determination. The city, which often seemed indifferent, now showed a different face, one of community and compassion. At every corner, with every online share, hope was reborn. 
Sitting under the dim glow of a streetlight, Stephen watched the activity around him. He felt a mix of gratitude and anguish. She has to be out there, he murmured, holding one of the Jess posters. She has to be. As the days passed, the search for Jess continued tirelessly. The Liverpool community united in unexpected ways, with volunteers roaming the streets, distributing flyers, and questioning residents. Despite the collective effort, Jess remained missing, and Stephen's hope began to waver. Then, on a cloudy morning, a phone call breathed new life into the search. A woman who preferred to remain anonymous contacted Care for the Paw. I think I saw Jess, she said, her voice hesitant. She was with a man who didn't seem to take good care of her. I noted down the address. Stephen's heart, submerged in sorrow until then, now pulsed with renewed hope. Alongside Care for the Paw volunteers, he prepared to follow the lead. The local police were also notified and offered to assist in the investigation. Armed with the description of the man and the provided address, Stephen and a small team of volunteers headed to the indicated location. The neighborhood was unfamiliar to Stephen, but each step brought him closer to a possible reunion with Jess. Arriving at the location, a tense silence settled among the group. The address led to a modest house with a small, neglected garden in front. One volunteer approached the door and rang the bell while others anxiously waited on the street. The following minutes seemed to last an eternity. Then, the door opened and muffled conversation could be heard. Stephen held the Jess flyer, his hands trembling. Suddenly, a familiar bark cut through the air, a sound Stephen knew all too well. His heart raced. Jess, he called, his voice choked with emotion. The door opened wider and there she was, Jess, a bit dirty and thin, but unmistakable with her brown coat and blue collar. Upon seeing Stephen, she ran toward him, barking and wagging her tail frantically. The reunion was a moment of pure joy and relief. Stephen knelt, embracing Jess tightly as tears streamed down his face. I knew, I knew I'd find you, he whispered while Jess licked his face. Relieved smiles lit up the faces of volunteers and police as the news of Jess's reunion with Stephen quickly spread, sparking joy in the Liverpool community. Stephen thanked everyone involved after the emotional reunion, with Jess safely by his side and the police handling the man who took her. The reunion became a symbol of hope and community spirit, gaining media attention and public support. Locals, once indifferent, now offered Stephen and Jess warmth and support. Care for the Paw even organized a celebratory event. Surrounded by neighbors and well-wishers, Stephen, emotional, expressed his gratitude, feeling part of a larger family with Jess. The incident raised awareness within the community about the struggles people like Stephen endure. This led to the launch of initiatives aimed at assisting both the homeless and their beloved pets. Jess and Stephen's inspiring stories served as a source of motivation, evolving from a tale of heartbreak into one of enduring love, communal empathy, and a heartwarming conclusion that united an entire city. With Jess now safe and thriving by Stephen's side, she transcended her role as a loyal companion and became a powerful symbol of hope illustrating how acts of kindness can prevail even in the bleakest of situations.